Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you another video. So today, we're going to be doing some more top 10 insert characters that I want in The Simpsons Tapped Out. And today we're doing top 10 of Pooh family members that I want in The Simpsons Tapped Out, aka the Nahasapina Pentalon family. So, there is a few, quite a few characters from our Pooh's family that I definitely want added. I think our Pooh's family is one of those families where there is actually a, still a fair amount to add. And I actually believe that they could, if they wanted to, do a full Apu event. Now, Apu is a character in Tapped Out, at least, which is used quite frequently within quest lines and things like that. And of course, he's free, and you unlock him very early on in your game. So I think the the potential for him to be there for a character themed update is definitely there. The only issue that comes is his status in the show. So of course. In the show, he's like in this grey area right now because of the whole um, problem with Apu documentary and the fact that Hank Azaria, um, you know, stepped back from voicing him. Now, I presume that they are just going to recast Apu and maybe like recharacterize him potentially, just so you know that 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 uh, criticism can't be used. I guess I don't know. But obviously, Apu still is yet to like properly make an appearance in the show since that whole sort of controversy boiled over. So, yeah, I don't know. But it doesn't necessarily mean that we can't get him in the game. They've definitely done plenty of quest lines where he's been involved in. So, I, I still see it as potential. So, we're going to be going through the top 10 Apu family members. So, let's start it off with number 10. Number 10 is the Octoputlets Octoputlets. So this is like one that I probably wouldn't want in the game, I'm not going to lie. Because there's only one way they could really do this. And that's add it as a 64 in 1 character. <laughs> and I don't know if that would work. So of course these are future characters. These are the octoputlets that the octoputlets have in the future. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they could do like a decoration potentially. I, I feel like this one's like the most difficult one. I, I would be fine if they avoided this. I could understand why <laughs> it's kind of impossible to add or near to impossible. Yeah, uh, this one I think I think is is fair to be like okay, maybe not. Maybe we can't expect Tapped Out to give us this one. But hey, if they did do it, I wouldn't be mad. I would actually be kind of happy. Um, if they could pull off a sixty-four in one character, that would be uh, that would be insane. Because they could just make it like a giant ball, you know, like just so there's not actually sixty-four of them. It's just like you know, it's just like like thirty, but like it's in like such a large large compressed balls where you can't tell exactly how many of them there are that that could work i think but yeah that's the the number 10 the octopotlets octopotlets number nine is jung young jasmet jamshed so this has been a pencil now we actually have jam shed jamshed in the game jamshed was actually is actually Jay, like Jay is his nickname. So Jay, who we already have in the game, we got him as like an adult or like a teen, I guess, like a young adult slash uh, like late teen. But in the show previously, he was seen as this little kid. So he was the, always the kid who had the shotgun out. And of course he's Sanjay's son. So this sort of is a tricky thing because there's a lot of like sort of characters a bit like this. Another good example is Hibbert's son. Um, JJ. So JJ has appeared. He he looks like different every time. So in one appearance, he's he looks kind of almost like he's in his early teens. In another, he looks like he's like Bart's age. And then and then more recently, he looks like he's kind of like 13, 14. So yeah, I don't know. Um, he he he's got kind of in the same thing. But with Jamshed, obviously he had that whole episode. Focusing on him, or at least he was a big part of it when he was, you know, Jay, when he was older. But I do really like his younger appearance as well, so I would be cool with this being added as a character. They could just call it Young Young Jamshed, that would be fine. They can make it a separate character like they've done with the other characters, you know, keep it consistent. But I just really would like him in the game. I think he, he's one of those kind of funny ones. Number eight is Sanjay the Bull. Alright, so this is one that actually, do you know what, I kind of want as an NPC. Maybe maybe I should have put Jamshed above him, but I think this one would be kind of funny. So, basically, in the future episode, Apu sort of talks to Sanjay, and it's actually not Sanjay. He thinks Sanjay has been uh, re um, reincarnated as a, as a bull. 
but it's actually not. He says, I'm a mongoose that died 600 years ago. Um, yeah. I don't know. I think it'd be a funny little NPC, Sanjay the Bull. Just throw it into like a future update. They, it could work. They could add it with the, the house as well, or Pooh's future house. And maybe they could add it as a full playable character. Sure, why not? But yeah, I just think it'd be kind of a funny character. And it's sort of technically a family member because our Pooh thinks it's his brother. So yeah, he treats it like his brother. Number seven is Manjula's parents. These are one where I'm like, okay, they don't have to add these guys, but it would be pretty awesome if they did. So these are, of course, uh, this would be like a two-in-one character. I wouldn't expect them to be two separate characters. Just Manjula's parents. We get both of them, two-in-one character. They could do something around the whole arranged marriage thing. They could do some sort of quest line. Where would they be added? Our poo event, like all these characters. The only exception is like Sanjay could be added in there. Sanjay the bull could be added in a future update. But Manjula's parents, I think, yeah, add them into... um. Add them into a few, uh, sort of a poo event. Uh, they could fit in. and They could give them a few quests and stuff. And they could do something with them. Number six is Apu's father. Only made a very brief appearance. Where, you know, he's sort of in a flashback. But I think that's significant enough. When a character's, you know, a big character's father. And had, has had some voice. I think that's justification enough for adding them. Hibbert's father, for example, was a very tiny minor role in the episode where he appeared. But, of course, he was added, and they made a pretty good character out of that. I think Apu's father, they could do the same. Would like to see Apu's father in the game. They could do, definitely do some interesting quests with him. I'm pretty sure he's dead in the show, so maybe they could play in on that. But, yeah, would be great to have Apu's father in the game. Number five is Annette Taylor. So, this one actually isn't a family member. This is the uh, this is the woman that Arpu had a affair with. Now, I don't I don't want to include girlfriends as as much, but it's hard when it's like a girlfriend that I kind of actually want in the game. For example, when I did the Flanders one, like I really want Sarah uh, Sarah Salon Salan, but she's not a family member, so I couldn't put her like at the bottom of the list because I really wanted her. But then I felt kind of awkward putting her quite high because she's not actually a family member. Same thing with Annette. I actually kind of liked the episode. I'm not gonna lie. When you sort of show all the characters, like, this this episode sort of shows Apu is a bad guy, right? He is a really bad guy, but I don't know, like, I, I really liked the episode for his character, and I, I think the ending was a bit too happy. I think maybe they could have done something with Manjula and Apu's relationship breaking down, essentially. But I actually like it when they do these sort of significant character changes, you know? Like, Apu's not... Um, the best moral character. He's pretty fucking abhorrent in a lot of regards. But yeah, I thought this one showed him as a very human at the same time. Um, but yeah, Annette Taylor, I think she's a fine enough character. Uh, so I'd like to see her in the game. She could come with her house. She could come with the cookie, the squishy truck. There's plenty of things that she could come with. Number four is Kavi Nahasapina Pentamon. Or Kavi, or is it Havi? Um, Kavi. Um, I actually really liked this guy's appearance. I think he was a cool little mini side character for that episode. Obviously, he's like, obviously he lives in India. So um, again, they could do a travel episode, or they could do an Apu event to add him in. Uh, he kind of works in like a call. I think it's like he does like multiple call centers. Like he he's like essentially like eight call centers in one, which is kind of funny. Um, yeah, I just think he was a pretty cool character. Definitely would be awesome to get him in the game. So yeah, that's number four. His Cavi. Number three is Arpu's mother. Definitely really want Arpu's mother in the game. She was a really significant character in that whole, you know, Manjula episode where Arpu and Manjula finally got married or first got married. Would be really awesome to get her in the game. So, yeah, not really much more to say. Number two is Sanjay's daughter, uh, Paul Pulaketa. Pulaketa? Or Paul? I think it's Pulaketa. I think that's how you say it, at least from my, um, from my research. Or pa Laketa. Uh, or Shaketa. Pa Shaketa. Well, I've got Paul Laketa written down, okay? So that's what I'm going with. But, yeah, Sanjay's daughter. I, yeah, really want her in the game. Now, the main reason why she's above Apu's mother is she's more significant, in my opinion, because she's made, like, multiple appearances. Now, more recently in the show, she hasn't actually appeared as of late. She's actually really absent, which is really kind of weird, because earlier on, she was always seen around... Apu and Sanjay. Ever since the Octoputlets came in the show, though, she's sort of taken a backseat. Like, I think ever since the Octoputlets came in, she was only ever, like, made background appearances. And now she's just, like, straight up never seen. 
Uh, mainly because I think the Opera Butler sort of replaced her, <laughs> essentially. But regardless, she's Sanjay's daughter. She's a significant enough character. I I think that justifies her being above Apu's mother. But it doesn't give her the number one spot. So what is the number one spot? Well, I've had drum roll, but I feel like everyone knows what it is. Of course, it's the octoplets. Look, the octoplets. I keep saying octoplets. <laughs> octoplets. The octoplets. God. Um, so, the octoplets are Apu's children, obviously. They do appear in the game in for in a form of the animation with Manjula and Alpu. However, I think they should be added as full playable characters. Mainly because we have Maggie, we have Ger Baby Gerald, we have Kearney's other son, alright? They can add babies to the game. And I actually would like to get a few more sort of babies, uh, you know, like the Spuckle children and stuff. Octuplets, though, are like the focus point of several episodes. So obviously the one where they're born, they're a big focus point. The episode with the zoo, they're a big focus point. Um, when they're like added into the zoo. So they actually are very significant. They're not just like, oh, okay, this character has a child who like appears every so often. No, these guys are like really significant in some episodes. And for that reason, I think they 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 being added should be priority right now or one of the priorities because we still haven't got them in the game. Now, I can understand maybe why they haven't been added. It's tricky to add, right? There's eight of them. So how do you do it? Do you, like, do, do you split it up for two? So you have, like, two, you know, two, like, sort of four of the male ones, four of the female ones. Like, so, the like, sort of split them in half. And, and then two or four in one characters. Do you add them all individually? Or do you add them as a big eight in one? Now, personally, I think an eight in one is fine. None of them really have any character to justify, like, individuals. But if they really, really wanted to, they could add them as individuals. I would be fine if they added them as individuals. I wouldn't complain too much. I, like I said, I'd prefer it if they were an 8-in-1. But if they go to add them as individuals, fair enough. I'm fine with it, alright? But, yeah, I really want Apu's octuplets in the game. I think this one is a must. So, yeah, that's, that's why they're number one. Of course they had to be. There's a bonus round, though. Bonus round? What? <laughs> I just thought I was just looking for Arpu's pets. I didn't include this on the list because I thought it was so insignificant that I, d I didn't think it really made sense. But in the opening credits from, like, season 2 to, like, season, I think, like, 19, Arpu has a dog, which he, like, w is, is walking. But it's only in the opening credits. I think he's made, like, two very brief appearances in two of her episodes, at least the wiki says. I tried to scour through those episodes, but I couldn't see it, but maybe I just missed it. But, yeah, Apu's dog, apparently, um, Apu has a dog, but he only ever really has it in the opening credits, which is really, really odd. So, bonus round, they could add Apu's dog in the game, I guess, and maybe give us a backstory to that guy. <laughs> so, or that girl. Yeah, um, that was the bonus round. But that is it for Apu's family. That is all of them I want. So, <clears throat> yeah, that pretty much sums up his entire family as a whole, apart from his dog, which I included in anyway. So, please let me know which idea you would like to see next. So, the, oh, sorry, not idea, which list would you like to see next? So, the ones we've got is... Give me a second. So, the ones we've got is top 10 Simpsons pets, obviously. We've got the top 10 legal eagles. And, do you know what? I think we'll do another family. Which family should we do? We'll do the Spuckler family. Why not? We didn't mention them in this one. So, yeah, react with, obviously, go to the Discord to react. And it would go to the Channel 6 uh, channel. And you can react to which one you want to see. And whichever one wins the vote gets to be next. So, Simpsons Pets, Legal Eagles, and the Spuckler family. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts on this one. And I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.